Hi, I'm Tish, and today I'll be reviewing this wig. This is an M-style wig. I will leave a description. I will leave the link in the description below. Um, so this was actually quite a surprise wig for me. It was in the under fifty pound bracket again from Amazon. Um, but it's it's been a bit of um, a surprise because it's turned into one of my favourite wigs. Um, and I wasn't expecting anything that as good as this, I suppose. Um, it is synthetic. Um, it's... <sighs> I suppose it's quite warm. There is a lot of hair. It has a lot of volume. Like, it's, there's just a lot of hair. Um, and um, I had to run some talcum powder through it just to take out some of the shine. Um, but the hair just feels really nice, it hangs really nicely, um, if you were particularly, you know, skilled at styling it, I think it'd style really well. Um, I don't normally wear- well, I said to myself I wouldn't buy brunette wigs, um, I'm brunette naturally, and I kind of steer clear of them. Uh, through chemo when I was bald um, for a couple of reasons like I wanted the wigs to be an opportunity to do something different and new and exciting and I went for the craziest colours like blue and red um, and I suppose that ties into the second reason which is that I when I was going through chemo I didn't want to look like me like I didn't want to look how I normally look um, a because it was nice to kind of like focus on like my my style and actually start paying atten more attention to how I look and how I present myself, um, especially when faced with the challenge of you know being bald um, and eyebrowless and looking really sick. <laughs> um, but then. On the other hand, I just wanted to disassociate. You know, I, I, I want no. I wanted to make how I was feeling make sense. Like cancer is one of those weird things where you can have cancer, and you you get told that you're really really ill. Like you, you know, there's something really badly wrong with you, and you look in the mirror and you see nothing. You just see you, and it felt like wearing a brunette wig would be. You know, like looking in a mirror and seeing that nothing was wrong. Um, so I got this wig kind of actually as my hair started growing back. Um, I bought it because I had a job interview and I freaked out and I I was like, well, I can't go with my short fluffy hair. I can't go. But my, my, my nicest wig is bright red like bright red and this was like a office job and I just I wasn't convinced that it wouldn't be unprofessional I was like I can't wear blue um and then I put on my the the wig that I feel most comfortable in um my, my blonde wig um from the first video and that just didn't make me feel better either um so I was like oh my god I want to look more like me um I, I, I want to look normal. Um, so I bought this, and it arrived, and I, and I, I, I loved it. Um, but I realised that I don't know. There was just it is really long and unstyled, and I realised I actually preferred. I felt happier in my red one than I did this. Um. I felt more confident, even if this made me feel more like me. Um, and I love this wig. Like, it, it's really awesome. Um, but I suppose different colours and different styles just make you feel like you're presenting a different way. Like with this, I feel like I should be wearing a pair of specs and have a book and, you know, it just gives me that kind of vibe. Um, 
And you can style this wig to do something completely different, but it's the style and vibe it gives me. Um, and I mean, that's the, that's the beauty of style in general, isn't it? Like, and that's that's the great thing about wigs, because if today I feel like putting on a pair of specs and looking like this, then that's fine. But if I want to put on my short red wig and be confident and cool and yeah, I've dyed my hair a crazy colour, so what, kind of, then that's what you can present and I actually ended up going in, in the red wig. Um, but again, I you know, I love this wig. I find longer wigs a faff, which is funny um, because I've had very long hair for a lot of my life. Um, and you would think that I'd be used to it, <laughs> um, but I actually find long wigs a huge faff. I think it's because I'm spoiled, like, in that my hair is so short, um, and, like, the short wigs are so easy to wear, I don't have to think about dipping it in my food. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but it's a real concern. Um, or getting it tangled on my elbows or door frames or whatever. Um, and I so and, and long long hair just tangles so quickly. Like this, I brushed this like before I did my makeup, and it's already tangled. Like, um, so I don't know. Like, but then you know, we've cut it down to size, and I just I I do like this wig. The front is again lace that you just cut down and you can do really clever things with it like make it look really natural I just took it under <laughs> um, um, I effectively make it quite a blunt front but <sighs> some people are smarter than me um, but yeah the colour the colour is great um, it did need a little bit of talc just to take out some of that shine um, I, I mean, the length is beautiful. The length is a lot of effort. Um, there is a cat on my window, I think. <laughs> um, yeah. I might show you what it looks like in glasses. I had such a panic then when I thought the previous thing hadn't saved. <laughs> anyway, glasses. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, you can see the reflection of my screen, but, um, I just think glasses work really well with it. Um, I suppose that's it. It's a good, middling price, to fairly cheap wig, um, that doesn't really show that it's that price. Um, it's not uncomfortable really or is not more uncomfortable than other wigs um it's fairly thick um it's a nice style it's a nice color it feels fine um, again it's not the best wig it's not you know a super high quality wig but for the price it's fantastic in my opinion and on the magical wig scale I would give this like an 8 I'd give it an 8 because for the price it's really good um yeah <laughs> okay I will see you guys if there's any of you guys <laughs> in the next video <laughs> um, next week <laughs>